Let's go. Genesis 7. 17. 6, 17. <clears throat> and I, yes, I am bringing a flood of water on the flesh on the earth to destroy all flesh, all that has the breath of life in it from under the heavens, all that is in is on the earth will pass away. The flood symbolizes a deluge 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 the flood symbolizes the deluge of evil and false city to destroy all flesh all that has the breath of life mm -hmm. all that has the breath of life in it from under the heavens means that all the descendants of the early church destroyed themselves all that is on the earth will pass away symbolizes the people who were part of the church and who adopted its nature. The symbolism of the flood as a deluge, deluge of evil and false it is established by statements statements above concerning the descendants of the earliest church there is was said that so did cravings so did so did it's like disgusting dirty so did that so did cravings took control of them and that they merged the teachings of faith with those cravings the hello. Consec hello hello but i'm reading the book you can see this book on the screen uh this is uh, secrets of heaven by manuel swedenborg this is this book is this is it a christian book like oh, yeah. yeah it's christian swedenborg oh, was a christian uh -huh. he lived know. in sweden and uh, he he was in from sweden and he lived in england oh okay you're you're good man uh -huh and if you want to read you can read next mm -hmm. section the consequence was that they ad adopted false cities as their convictions blotting out everything true or good and at the same time shutting off access to the remnant within them so that it could not do its work this inevitably resulted in their self-destruction inevitably 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 mm -hmm. it's like necessarily inevitably this inevitably resulted in their self-destruction when the path to the remnant within us is shut off we seem to be human because the angels can no longer protect us. Evil spirits take thorough possession 
of us instead and their only interest and desire is to annihilate us such was the cause of the of the extinction extinction mm. what sorry extinction extinction is like death disappearance fading degeneration dying mm -hmm. such was the cause of the extinction of the pre-flood race as a portrait in the worldwide deluge of the flood furthermore an influx 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 in flux like perception maybe in flux ah in flux in flux like in flow confluence confluence mm -hmm. like confluence in flow and in flux furthermore an influx of fantasies and appetites coming from evil spirits is not unlike a flood and uh, that is why the word frequently calls it a flood, as the remarks introducing the next chapter will show with the Lord's divine mercy. The meaning of uh, to destroy all flesh and all that has the breath of life in it under the heavens as the fact that all the descendants of the earliest church destroyed themselves and received from what was just said. It can also be seen from earlier sections describing how the mental mentality that the same people inherited cumulatively. Cumulatively. Is this? Cumulatively. Hmm. Cum. Cum. You. Cumulatively. Cumulatively. Mm -hmm. Cumulatively. It's like summarily, collectively, cumulatively. Inherited cumulatively from their forebears. Forebears. Mm -hmm. From their forebears. Forebears. Mm -hmm. Like forefather, ancestor. From their forebears made them more disposed than others to soak up monstrous convictions of soak 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 mm -hmm. soak soak it's like absorb impregnant impregnant impre impregnate mm -hmm. impregnate impregnate soak then others to soak up monstrous convictions of this type convictions convictions mm -hmm. it's like belief convictions of this type the main reason was that they immersed the religious teachings and they possessed in the torrent of their desires and so took on this disposition circumstances are different for those who have never learned what the true faith teaches but live in complete ignorance they cannot do as the church did they have no way to profane to profaning holy things and so blocking of access to the remnant within themselves as a result they do not drive the lord's angels away the remnant within us as already stated includes every lesson in innocence in charity in mercy and in religious truth that we have received from the lord since childhood each and every trace of those lessons is stored away without them innocence charity and mercy would be wholly absent from our thinking and our actions in that case nothing good or true would be present and we would be worse than savage beasts the outcome would be 
the same if a remnant of these qualities did stay with us, but unclean desires and dreadful miscon misconceived persuasions, misconceived misconceived it's like non not understood misconceived persuasions blocked its outlet blocked its outlet outlet mm -hmm. exit 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 outlet misconceived persuasions Mm -hmm. Believe. Persuasions blocked its outlet, prevented it from operating. Operating or operation? Operating. Operating. Mm -hmm. It's like working. That is what happened to the people predating the flood who exter exter exterminated, exterminated themselves. Exterminated. Yeah, like exterminated. Mm -hmm. Terminator, like Terminator. Destroy. Exterminated themselves. They are the ones meant by all flesh, all that has the breath of life in it, under the heavens. Flesh symbolizes all people in general and body centered people in particular, as shown already. The breath of life symbolizes all life in general, but strictly, strictly, strike, strictly, ah, strictly, 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 rigidly, mm -hmm. strictly speaking, it is the life and those who have been reborn, but strictly speaking, it is the life and those who have been reborn. Here then it symbolizes the final generation of the earliest church. Although no living faith survived in them, they still had acquired from their ancestors a, a, a germ of that faith which they smoothered. Germ. Germ. Germ like embryo. Mm -hmm. Proud, a germ of that faith which they smoothered. It is here called uh, smoothered. Smothered. Mm -hmm. Suffocate like choke. 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 Suffocate. Which they smoothered. It is here called the breath of life in Genesis 7:22. It is referred to in the phrase in whose nostrils was the breath of living spirit. Flesh under the heaven symbolizes what is limited to our bodily plane, whereas the heavens are the truth that we understand and the good that we will. Once our bodily concerns are disconnected from truth in the intellect and good in the will, we can no longer remain alive. What sustains us is the bond we have with heaven, that is, with the Lord through heaven. Mm -hmm. all, all that is on the earth will pass away, symbolizes the people who were part of the church and who adopted its nature. <coughs> As I demonstrated earlier, <coughs> <coughs> As demonstrated earlier, the Earth does not mean the whole planet, only the part that constituted the Church. Mm -hmm. So the verse is not refer referring, referring to any kind of flood. Referring. Referring. Mm -hmm. Referring. So the verse is not referring referring to any kind of flood, let alone a worldwide one. It is talking about the death, the drawing of those in the church who were cut off from the remnant 
within them and consequently from any comprehension of truth or will to do good, which is to say that they were cut off from the heavens. Spiritual passages quoted earlier attest to the symbolism of the earth or land as the area where the church existed. Attest. Mm -hmm. Attest. Certify. Certify. Attest. Mm -hmm. Earlier attest to the symbolism of the earth or land as the area where the church existed and to us the inhabitants of that area. The following verses also confirm the symbolism in Jeremiah. This is what Jehovah has said. The whole earth will be stripped bare, yet I will not make a full end. Because of this, the earth will mourn and the heavens above will be dropped, draped in black. Draped. Draped. Mm -hmm. Covered. Draped in black. Black. Draped in black. Mm -hmm. The earth stands for residence in the area where the church which had been devastated existed. In Isaiah, I will shake heaven and the earth will quake out of its place. The earth here stands for an individual in the church, in the church's territory, who is to suffer devastating experiences. In Jeremiah, the people stopped by Jehovah will on the day reach from the ends of the earth to the ends of the earth. Stabbed. Stabbed. Stabbed, like pierce. The people stopped by Jehovah will on the day reach from the ends of the earth to the ends of the earth. The ends of the earth here do not mean the entire globe, but only the tract of land where the church was. Tract. Tract. Mm -hmm. Like massive. Massive. Mm -hmm. Tract of ch tract of land. Mm -hmm. Land area. Mm. It's like plot, plot. Tract of land, plot of land where the church was. So they symbolize the people who belonged. To the church in the same author i am calling for a sort upon all the inhabitants of the land and he was come all the way to the ends of the earth because jehovah was a quarrel against the nations again it is not the whole globe that is meant by only the territory of the church and so the inhabitant there that is a person who belongs to the church in this passage, the nations stand for false cities. In Isaiah, which uh, Jehovah is leaving his place to exact pi punishment or wickedness in the inhabitant of the land. To exact. 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 Mm -hmm. Like, collect. Mm Mm -hmm. To exact punishment for wickedness in the inhabitant of the land. The meaning here is similar in the same author. I will not listen in. Has it not been pointed out to you from the beginning? Do you not understand the foundations of the earth? In the same author, Jehovah has created the heavens. He is God forming the earth and making it. Is also establishing it. The earth, the earth stands for a member of the church in Zechariah. This is the saying of Jehovah as he stretches out the heavens and founds the earth and forms the human spirit in the middle of it. Plainly, the earth stands. Plainly, the earth.
stands for a person in the church. The earth or land is distinguished from the ground just as a person in the church is distinguished from the church itself, or as love is distinguished from faith. Genesis 6.18 And I will set up my pact with you, and you will enter the ark, and you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. Setting up a pact means that the people ref referred to as Noah would be reborn, that he was to enter the ark as were his sons and his wife and his sons' wives means that they would be saved. The sons are truth and the wives' goodness. The last verse was about people who destroyed themselves. This one is about people who were being reborn and so would be saved and who are re referred to as Noah. The meaning of setting up a pact is the fact that they would be reborn can be seen clearly from this. No pact can mediate between the Lord and humanity except that of being united by love and faith. So a pact symbolizes union. This kind of union is the heavenly marriage, which is the true, which is the true, truest. Truest. Mm -hmm. Truest. Truest. It's like truth, but truest. Jesus Christ is uh, the truest God. Truest. Which is the truest compact. The heavenly marriage or union can exist only in those who are reborn and accordingly a pact in the broad, broadest sense symbolizes rebirth itself. The Lord enters into a compact with us when he regenerates us and for this reason the ancients saw a pact as representing nothing but regeneration. The literal meaning gives no clue that the covenant made with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and so often renewed with their descendants had to do with any others than those actual people. But they were people incapable of rebirth since they equated worship with outward ob ob observances alone. Observances. Observances. Observances, like ob observation. Ritual rites. Rites. Mm -hmm. Outward observances alone. They also saw holiness in external elements without considering any connection to internal values. Values. So the pacts struck with them could not could struck with them could do no more than represent regeneration. Struck. Pacts. Struck. Struck. Down. Struck. Mm -hmm. Affected. Strike. Mm -hmm. Strike and struck. So the pact struck with them could not, could do no more than represent regeneration. None of their rituals did more than this. Neither did Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob themselves, who represented different aspects of love and faith. These men were like the priests and high priests who were able to represent a heavenly and very holy priesthood, no matter what their character was, even those who were criminal. When people serve to represent something, no thought is given to their personality, only to the quality represented. By the same token, all the monarchs of Israel and Judah, even the worst ones, represented the Lord's royal power. In fact, the Pharaoh who raised Joseph up over the land of Egypt also represented that power. This consideration and many others to be mentioned later by the Lord's divine mercy show that the numerous covenants with the children of Jacob were nothing more than rituals that held a representative meaning. 
the fact that the fact that a pact mm -hmm. the fact that the pact means nothing else than rebirth with all the entails entails mm -hmm. like tail entails mm -hmm. entails entails mm -hmm. With all it entails, means nothing else than rebirth with all it entails. The fact that the, a pact means nothing else than rebirth with all it entails can be seen from numerous passages in the word that call the Lord himself a covenant or pact. The term is applied to him because he is the only one to regenerate us and the only one to whom the reborn individual looks. He is also the all in all of love and faith. The fact that the Lord is the pact itself can be seen in Isaiah. Isaiah. I, Jehovah, have called you in justice and in holding your hand and guarding you, and I will give you as a pact with the people as a light for the nations. The pact stands for the Lord, while the light for the nations means faith. Isaiah 48, 49, 6, 8 was a similar message in Malachi. Watch, I am sending my angel, and suddenly to his temple will come the Lord, whom you are seeking, and the angel of the covenant, whom you desire. Watch, he is coming. Who can endure, endure the way, the day of his coming? In this passage, the Lord is called. Uh, the Lord is called the angel of. <clears throat> the covenant the sabbath is referred referred to as a, an eternal pact in exodus 31 16 because it symbolizes the lord <coughs> it also symbolizes us when he has regenerated us to the point of being heavenly as the lord is the pact itself we can conclude that everything binding us to the lord is part of the contract love and faith then a part of it as is everything that comes of love and faith these things are the lord's and uh, the lord is in them consequently the covenant itself is in those things wherever 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 they are received and they are not received except in one who has been reborn everything in the person reborn that belongs to the regenerator the lord is part of the compact or in other words is the compact compactly covenant compact yeah treaty contract in isaiah for example my mercy will not withdraw withdraw from you and the compact of with, withdraw withdraw mm -hmm. withdraw it's like remove mm -hmm. will not withdraw with, from you and the compact of my peace will not recede recede 
compact of my piece will not recede. Recede. Mm -hmm. It's like depart. Mm -hmm. Diminish. The mercy and the compact of peace are the Lord and everything that is his. In the same author, bend your ear and come to me, listen and let your soul live, and I will strike with you an eternal pact, the reliable mercies that I reliable. 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 Mm -hmm. Like correct. Mm -hmm. Reliable mercies that I showed to David. Here now I have made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and lawgiver for the nations. David stands for the Lord. The eternal pact consists in attributes of the Lord's and is fulfilled by means of them. These are the things meant by going to him and listening so that our souls may live. In Jeremiah, I will give them one heart and one way to fear me every day, with good result to them and to their children after them. And I will strike an eternal pact with them. Pledging. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like promise. <clears throat> Pledging that I will not turn away from doing good to them. In fear of me, I will put into their heart. These words stand for people who are being reborn. They stand also for qualities in the person who was being reborn. Those qualities being the one heart and one way. One heart and one way in turn are charity and faith, which are the Lord's and so are part of the compact. On the same author, look, the days are coming, says Jehovah, when I will strike a new pact with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, unlike the pact that I struck with their ancestors, because they nullified my pact. But this is the pact that I will strike with the house of Israel. After these days, I will put my law in the midst of them, and upon their heart I will write it, and I will become their God, and they will become my people. This explains openly that a covenant is love for, the, love for the Lord and faith in Him as adopted by one who is regenerating. The same author calls love a compact with the day and faith a compact with the night. I, Jehovah, will become their God, and my servant David be chief in their midst. And I will strike a pact of peace with them and bring an end on the earth to the evil wild animal, and they will live securely in the wilderness and sleep in forests. <clears throat> it is uh, obviously about a generation. David stands for the Lord in the same author. In the same author. In the same offer, David will be chief over them forever. I will strike the pact of peace with them, it will be an eternal pact with them. I will put my sanctuary. In the midst forever.
Again, this is about birth. David and the sanctuary stand for the Lord. The same author. I entered into a pact with you. And you were mine. And I washed you with water and cleaned your blood of you and anointed you with oil. Plainly, this is about the birth in Hosea. I will strike a pact with them on the day with the wild animal of the field and with the bird in the heavens and the creeping animal of the earth. This stands for a generation. The wild animal of the field stands for what the will holds, the bird in the heavens for what the intellect holds. In David, he has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. This stands for, re for rebirth. It is called a covenant or contract because it is given and received. There are some, however, who do not regenerate. To put it another way, there are some who consider the outward show of worship to be worship and who value and trivia themselves, their own wishes and their own thoughts as gods. Because they alienate themselves from the Lord, they are portrayed as nullifying the compact. In Jeremiah, for instance, they abandoned the compact of Jehovah, the God, and bowed down to other gods and served them. In Moses, whoever goes against the compact by serving other gods, the sun, the moon, the whole army of the heavens, will be stoned. The sun stands for self-love, the moon for assumptions based on faith, falsity, assumptions. Assumptions. Assumptions, like <coughs> postulate. <coughs> assumptions based on falsities and the army of the heavens for the false cities themselves. All of this now indic indicates that the Ark of the Covenant containing the testimony or covenant was, was the Lord himself, that the Book of the Covenant was the Lord himself, and that the blood of the covenant was the Lord himself. The Lord alone is the regenerator, so the covenant is <coughs> regeneration itself. The meaning of he was to enter the ark as were his sons and his wife and his sons' wives, and the fact that they would be saved can be seen from the things said above. It can also be seen from things that below, showing that they would be saved through being reborn. The fact that the sons are truth and the wife's goodness was also shown earlier in Genesis 5, 4, that we spoke of sons and daughters, but this one speaks of sons and their wives, because wives are the good connected with truth. No truth would ever... Sorry. Uh, sorry, what? Hello? Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, no truth would ever come into being it's something good or pleasurable did not exist for it to grow out of goodness and pleasure have life in them but truth does not have any life besides that which it gains from goodness and pleasure it is from this that truth forms and and uh, sprouts the same applies to faith, a matter of truth, which comes from love, a matter of goodness. Truth is like light. No light exists, exists that does not come from the sun, that is flame. This is the source from which light develops. Truth is simply the form of goodness and faith is simply the form of love. Truth develops out of goodness according to the quality of the goodness and faith develops according to the quality of love or charity. This then is the reason for the mention of a wife and wives, symbolizing the good connected with 
truth for the same reason the next verse says that two of each a male and female and a female were to enter the ark unless good is attached no regeneration occurs <coughs> Mm -hmm. Genesis 6 uh, 19. Who can read? Mm, okay, I read. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <clears throat> Genesis 6 19. And of every living thing of all mm -hmm. flesh, you must bring pairs of each into the ark to keep them alive with you. A male and a female they must be. A living soul symbolizes what lies in the intellect. All flesh symbolizes what lies in the will. You must bring pairs of each into the ark symbolizes the regeneration of this and this. A male is something true and a female something good. The symbolism of a living soul as what lies in the intellect and of all flesh as what lies in the will is established uh, by statements made above and others to follow in the word a living soul means every animal in general no matter what kind as it did at genesis 1 20 21 24 and 2 19 in the current verse though since all flesh follows on its heels it symbolizes this intellectual realm the reason was given before heels 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 in this sense heels it's like fifth Mm -hmm. Heels. It's like feet. Mm -hmm. uh, well, since all flesh follows on its heels. Yes. Mm -hmm. The people of this church first had to be reborn as to the ideas in their intellect. For the same reason, the next verse starts with the mention of birds, symbolizing matters of understanding or of a or of reason, and moves on to animals, symbolizing matters of will. Flesh spe specifically symbolizes the body-centered part of the will. The symbolism of you. must bring pairs of each into the ark to keep them alive as the regeneration of these entities can be seen from remarks on the previous verse there it, there it was said that truth can be regenerated only by what is good and pleasurable and the attributes of faith therefore only by the qualities of charity in consequence the present verse says pairs of each must go in or to be specific both something of the truth that inhabits the intellect and so uh, something of the goodness that inhabits the will people who have not been reborn have neither an understanding of truth nor a will to do good they only appear to have them, although they do not have faculties and uh, faculties that everyone calls by those names. They are indeed have, capable. You, you said although they do not have. They, although wait, they wait, do wait. have. Mm -hmm. Ah, they do have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Although they do have uh, faculties that everyone calls by those names, they are indeed capable of grasping truth on the rational and factual levels but such truth is not alive they are also seemingly able to will what is good but the goodness is not living it is like the good deeds that non-christians do or even like the good actions of unreasoning animals and these are merely 
analogous to good. Truth and goodness can never come to life in us before we regenerate and so before the Lord gives them life. In the other world, people can easily tell what is not alive and what is alive. When they come across truth that is not living, they immediately sense it is it as something material. Fibros. Fibros, is it? Mm. Fibrous. Yeah, it's like fiber. Mm -hmm. Hairy, mm -hmm. Fi fibrous, fibrous, and analog <clears throat> analogous, like analogy. Yeah, in tooth. Similar. Analogous. Analog. Yeah. Analog. Mm -hmm. Right. Fibrous and uh, shut off. Shut off. When they come across goodness that is not living, they perceive it as something wooden, bone-like, or stony. The truth and goodness that the Lord has brought to life, though is open, vibrant, vibrant, and full of spiritual and heavenly essence, offering unhindered access all the way to the Lord. It displays... It displays... Hello guys. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Uh, I'm good. Uh, we are reading the book. You can see this book on the stream. And I'm if sorry. you want to read. I'm sorry. Unhindered. 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 Like Hindered? Yeah, this word unhindered, I see. It's like free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you want to read, you can read next uh, verse in your turn. Mm -hmm. okay. Go on. Mm -hmm. Unhindered access all the way to the Lord. It di displays this nature in every idea and action, down to the tiniest aspects. This, then, is the reason the verse says that pairs were to enter the the art mm -hmm. to be kept alive. Mm -hmm. um, shall I continue? The, yeah, maybe someone wants to continue to read next. I have already Hi. said and Sean that a male is so much to end a fail more. So I think good. Female. Male. This word is female. It's like a uh, woman sex. Like this. Female. Sex. Woman sex. Mm -hmm. Sex. Uh, sex like gender in this sense. Female. Mm. My God. Oh my God. Okay, if nobody wants to read, you, you can continue. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. What's the reason? <laughs> Every part of... What? She is reading. Do you want to read no. Ramal? What? Do you want to read? Mm -hmm. Or not? Or not? I am Ely. I am Ely. And no, he, he don't understand. Yeah. Oh, you can okay. Continue. I continue. Mm -hmm. okay. Every part of us, no matter how small, has something equivalent to a marriage in it. Whatever exists in our intellect, therefore, is coupled with something in our will. Without this mating or marriage, we produce nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Next verse, Genesis 6 to 20. Of the bird by its kind, and of the beast by its kind, of everything creeping on the ground by its kind, 
pairs of all must go into you to to you <clears throat> to stay alive to stay alive a bird symbolizes matters of intellect a beast matters of will and the something creeping on the ground both at the lowest level two of each must go in to stay alive here as above symbolizes the regeneration of these entities the symbolism of a bird as matters of intellect or of reason was shown earlier so was the symbolism of a beast or animal as matters of will or emotions the symbolism of something creeping on the ground as both at the lowest level can be seen from the fact that anything creeping on the ground is as low as possible the symbolism of pairs of all must go in to stay alive as uh, the regeneration of these entities was explained at the least verse the present verse speaks of every kind of bird every kind of beast and uh, every kind of creeping thing in this regard it needs to be known that in each of us the contents of the intellect and of the will divide into countless major categories and then even greater number of specific kinds each pers perfectly distinct from the others even though we are unaware of the fact during our regeneration the lord brings every single one of these forward in its sequence this this the disentangling or disentangling what is this disentangling disentangling yeah disentangling disentangling it's like um detach untie mm -hmm. untie like tie and untie disentangling mm -hmm. disentangling it and setting it in its proper place so that he can turn it in the direction of truth and goodness and unite it with with them this he does in many different ways depending on the states we go through which are also beyond the number till none of these things the individual genera and the species the individual stages of our life can never be perfected perfected or perfected can be perfect tense like perfect tense perfected perfect tense and perfected mm -hmm. perfected perfected mm -hmm. ever be perfected to entity which embraces factors uh maybe perfect or perfect perfect tense if it if you're if you're talking about past perfect tense mm -hmm. for example present perfect per, maybe present perfect tense because this pronouns pronounced like perfected to eternity mm -hmm. each embraces factors whose number is unlimited when taken sep separately 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 or separately separately mm -hmm. separately separately mm -hmm when taken separately and even higher when compounded compounded it's like compound mixed yeah compounded compounded is mixed we do not even realize this is true still less can we see how we are reborn that is what the lord says to nicodemus about a person's regeneration the spirit blows where it wishes and you hear its voice yet you do not know where it is coming from or where it is going this is the way with everyone who is born from the spirit 
Mm -hmm. Genesis 6, 21. Who wants to read? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Suda. No Suda wants to read. Suda? Hi. Yeah. I'm oh. continuing. Uh, and take your take for yourself some food of every type that is eaten and gather it to yourself and it will serve you and them as food. He was to take for himself some food of every type that was eaten, some wool is symbolizes Symbol symbolizes symbolizes what is pleasurable pleasure pleasurable and good pleasurable pleasurable he was to gather it to himself symbolizes what symbolizes symbolizes what is true it was to serve Serve him and them as food symbols, but both, both. To describe to describe the food of people who are to be reborn. Before we can be reborn, we have to be equipped. 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 Equipped with and everything instrumental instrumental to rebirth. Good joyful feeling through the needs of our will fell to form the Lord's world along with support and compression. Confirmation from other source service over intellectual 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 uh, intellectual needs till we receive this preparation we cannot be regenerated 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 those so place are our food. That is why we cannot be. <coughs> Regenerated for before we reach adulthood. 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 But we each have food practically Particularly, 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 appropriated to use that seems to be all over oven, and the Lord puts use with them prior to our rebirth. That's all. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who wants to read Thank next, you. maybe? Where are you from? Me? Yes. Uh, I don't say it. Sorry. I don't like to talk about myself. Mm, well, okay. That's all. Bye. <laughs> Vivi, you want to mm -hmm. read? V? V. Okay, uh, I read. Six, seven, eight, the symbolism of he was to take for himself some food of every type that was eaten as what is pleasurable and good can be seen from statements to the effect that pleasure 
and goodness are the constituents of human life but that truth is not so much so this is because truth acquires its life from what is ple what is pleasing and good from the time of childhood right through old age no item of knowledge or reason is ever uh, instilled in us unless it enters by way of something pleasant and good because the human soul lives on goodness and pleasure and sustains itself by sustains itself Sust uh. sustains it's like support, support. <clears throat> yeah. mm. i knew it but i forgot <laughs> <laughs> i often forgot it's okay. what words what was the word before before that sustains yeah. on the other page i didn't see it actually what was the first word sustains itself by means okay mm -hmm. by itself means by of me. them of them they are called food they actually are food since the soul could never survive without them as anyone who is willing to pay attention can see the symbolism of he was to gather it to himself as what it is true follows us a consequence consequence since gather is use of the items in our memory they are gathered there in addition this what is consequence consequence is like result mm -hmm. let's see result of whatever you you're done or... consequence yeah result mm -hmm. impact impact mm -hmm. consequence yeah. since mm -hmm. sequence okay. the, the clause involves the idea that both goodness and truth are collected in us before we undergo regeneration without a collection of good feelings and true ideas to serve as instru instruments for the lord's work we would never be regenerated as just noted this leads to the conclusion that it was to serve him and them as food symbolizes both everyone can see the that goodness and truth are a person's genuine food anyone deprived of them is dead not living the kinds of food that our souls feed on when we are spiritually that are the pleasures of evil and the gratifications provided by falsity these are little food foods so are the pleasures and satisfactions afforded by bodily worldly and earthly things which have no inherent life what is more people devoid of life have no idea what spiritual and lethal lethal Slug. deadly 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 fatal fatal mm -hmm. fatal, fatal. Mm -hmm. lethal and what is gratifications this word gratifications do you know mm. let's check gratifications it's like pleasure, pleasure. satisfaction gratification gratification mm -hmm. satisfaction Mm -hmm. what's spiritual and heavenly food is they are so ignorant on this score that every time the word mentioned food or bread they suppose it means physical food take for instance the praise from the lord's prayer give us daily bread 
they think this refers on only to the nourishment of the body or if they're thinking stretch stretch stress stretch stretches. stretch stretch yeah yeah stretches. stretches oh yeah stretches any further they all they allow that it also includes the body's other needs such as clothing riches and so on they even argue bit mm -hmm. What is the uh, one second? What? Mm. Which one? Instance. Ah, for instance. For instance. What is instance? Take for instance. As an example. Example, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instance. Mm -hmm. so like for example, in the you can say for instance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Argue bitterly. Bitterly against the notion that any other kind of food is meant. Yet, uh, yet they see clearly that the words before and after this praise have to do only with heavenly and spiritual co concerns. And that, that the Lord's kingdom is a subject of the prayer. They are also capable of grasping that the word of the Lord is spiritual and heavenly. From this circumstance and others like it, the extent to which people today focus on the body is obvious enough. So is their desire like that of Jews? To interpret everything the word says as dealing with the crudest of material concerns. The Lord himself teaches plainly what food and bread mean in his word. Of food, he speaks this way in John. <clears throat> Jesus said, work not for the food that perishes, but for the food that last to eternal life, which the son of crudest, what is it? Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know too. No. Crudest. Crude. Mm -hmm. Like rough. What? Mm -hmm. Rough. Yes, na ruskom, da no ne mozet bi. Yeah, it's 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 Russian, but I don't see it Russian, but I see uh, it. Da, 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 rascazuj, da, rascazuj mi. Rough. <laughs> it's better da, to translate mi, from, rascazuj, from da, synonyms. Rascazuj. Rascazuj, sudje. Actually, it's a English-speaking channel. Like, no. Speak English, please. Actually, you are a Russian, bro. Kotovasik yes. is a troll. I, he I joins, I, he joins not, random no. channels and plays I, sounds from wrong, soundboard. Bro. Just mute him, no. guys. I am not. I, I, I am just a uh, cat. Yeah. Okay, uh, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crudest and... You said... Inter in, in, how did you say this word? Interpret. Interpret. Am I wrong? Interpret. I think it's the interpret. Why do you read if you don't understand the words? Interpret. Interpret. But it's about pronunciation. In interpret. Read. You said interpret. Interpret. Read. So it's wrong. Interpret. Transcription. Shall Shall we check in the English dictionary? <laughs> yeah, interpret. We can see. Interpret. Thank you. Interpret. Yeah, I interpret. heard this word interpret. from native speakers. Interpret. Trap. Like trap. This. Trap. Ah, but yeah, I see interpret. Yeah, it's interpret, interpret. not interpret. interpret. Ah, in American mind, maybe interpret. Yeah, interpret. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interpret. Like to interpret. explain, ah. right? Interpret. Yeah, interpret. you're correct. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Yandex, Yandex transcription <laughs> interprets. 
<laughs> no, but it, it has the same. It, it says explain here. Scam. Uh, but the uh, pronunciation I, is just different, right? Yeah, I think British, yeah, Yandex uses British uh, pronunciation. Okay, okay. In, in British, it's like Google. Use like Google. Use Google. Mm -hmm. okay. was a pretty was. Okay. Google. Google. I I I I don't have Google here. I should program <laughs> it. Uh, I, uh, I know why. Google ha has a, li a little synonyms, but Yandex has more synonyms. It's it's better to translate from Yandex. Google banned in, in Russian. Because... Yeah. All right. Sorry, what? <laughs> Google Say... banned in Russian. Yeah. Uh, why do you think I am from Russia? Because I, I you say... use a Yandex. Yandex uses Russian. Please Russia. don't waste time on him. Okay, let's go. Читай дальше, господи. Next, next page. <coughs> Humankind gives you. Of bread, he says, in the same order. Your ancestors ate... Is it mana? Mana. Mana. Mm -hmm. mana. It's like bread from heaven to eat. Mana. Mana. Oh, okay. mana. It's like a grain. A little grain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ate mana in the wilderness. Oh, wait. Wilderness and died. Wilderness. This is the bread. No. No. Wil what is the correct one? Wilderness or what? No, wilderness. What the f because you have a wild. Listen, listen. Wilderness. 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 This transcription you can let see. Me, let me check. Wilderness. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's wild animals. You can say if animals uh, are wild, uh, but it's about if it if it is about desert, it's uh, wilderness. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. Go, yeah, go on. The wilderness and died. This is the breath that come down from heaven, Same. so that a person what? Came. You said come. Came. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. Is the bread that came down from heaven, so that a person could eat of it and not die? I am the living bread who came down from heaven if anyone eats of this bread that person will live forever some today say as those who heard this did this saying is hard who can listen to it and they back away no lo and no longer walk with him bucked what is it buck like buck Back away. It's an idiom. Uh, back it's back like to away. go to go back, yeah. Uh, I yeah, but be... uh, back that... away is an that's idiom to like that's not stand for something anymore. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. yeah, to retreat. Ah, uh, well mm -hmm. right. I will be back like this. I I'll back. <laughs> I'll no, be back, back self itself doesn't work as back away because you can make a stand a statement and then back away from it so you change mm. your mind uh, oh, okay mm -hmm. thank you mm -hmm. okay the lord told them the words that i am speaking to you are spirit and are life in similar fashion, water symbolizes the spiritual aspects of faith. The Lord speaks of it this way in John. Jesus said, Anyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But those who drink the water that I give them will never be thirsty to eternity. Instead, the water that I give them will become a spring of water gushing up in them to provide eternal life. 
people do exist today, however, who resemble the... Mm -hmm. G gushing is like uh, spring, like, uh, yeah, gushing. What is this? Spring of water gushing. gushing. Like gushing flowing, up. yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like gushing. F f flooding, fountain, fountain. sprouting. It's like big water. Mm -hmm. Who resemble the the woman the Lord talked to by the spring when she answered, <clears throat> "Lord, give me this water to keep me from being thirsty and coming here to draw." Many passages. Is it passages, right? Passages. Passages. Mm -hmm. Passages. Okay. In the word established that that food there stands only as a symbol for spiritual and heavenly nourishment, which is faith in the Lord and love. In Jeremiah, for instance, the enemy has stretched its hand out over every pleasant thing in Jerusalem. Because she has seen the nations, they have come into her sanctuary, about which you commanded. They shall not come into your assembly. All the people, all the people are groaning, looking for bread. They have exchanged what is pleasant to them for food to revive their soul. These words mean no other bread or food than a spiritual kind, since they deal with a sanctuary in the same author. I called out to my lovers. They deceived me, my priests and my elders, expired in the city. For they had tried to find food for them, for themselves, and would have brought their soul back. To life the meaning is similar in david all of them wait for you to give them their food in its se season you give to what is expired expired is like um, expired. expired over you out of date. It's like be over. For example, you can say the time expired. Mm -hmm. It's like the time is over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like die. Mm -hmm. Depart. Expired. Expired. Yeah. Expired. Part. Give to them. <clears throat> Where is it? And you give to them. Okay, to them, they gather. You open your hand. They receive abundant good. This too stands for spiritual and heavenly food. In Isaiah, everyone who is thirsty come to the water and whoever does not have silver come buy and eat and come without silver and without the price buy wine and milk the wine and milk stand stand for spiritual and heavenly drink in the same order the young woman will conceive and deliver a child and you shall call his name emmanuel he will eat butter and honey in order to know to spurn. Spurn. Sorry, what does that mm -hmm. mean? Spurn. Spurn mm -hmm. is like to spit. I speed. think to spit out. Mm -hmm. Spurn. It's like uh, push away, kick, reject. Reject. I see, I see. You know, like look down on something. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Look down? 
А, е. Пушавей, я не кансей пушавей. Ту пушавей, вот из. Or what everyone who is left in the middle of the land will eat. Eating honey and butter is taking nourishment. That is heavenly and at the same time spiritual. Those left in the land stand for remnants of goodness and truth. What's it? Mala? Malia? Mala. Malaki. Malaki. I think it's Malaki. I am correct. The first, you, 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 you should say your version, and I will, I can say mine, and I will check it out. Malaki. Malaki. Not Malaki. Malaki. Mal Malaki. 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 Okay. Malaki also discusses this. <clears throat> Bring all teachers. Tight, tight. Tight. It's like it's like ten of your possession. You should uh, you should give to the Lord. Tight, tight. Can I check? Tithes. Tenth part of of your possession. Tight. Tithes. You earned. What you earned, you 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 should give to the Lord. If you were a, if you were a Jew, uh, to do the law of Moses like this, you should uh, you should give a tenth of your possession Bring all to the Lord. To the treasure. Like like uh, fee. Or taxes, tenth taxes. part of something. Mm -hmm. So is it tight? It's like tax, mm -hmm. taxes, tight. Ten, tight. Ten, ten, ten percent, ten percent of your possession. Ten yeah. percent. So how yeah. mm -hmm. am I correct in my pronunciation? Like tight. Yes. Tight. Tight. Okay. Tithes. Okay. Tithe. Tithe. Uh, she mm -hmm. says tithe. Tithe, not tight. Tithe. Mm -hmm. Tithe, oh, like T I T. There is S on the end. Oh, uh, T I T S. Without yeah. H, like tithe. Tithe. No. Tithe. tithe. No, you're reading singular form, but it is written the plural form. Yeah. Ah, so there's an S oh. on the end. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. tight. So, mm -hmm. tight. Tight. Uh -huh. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah. plural. Mm -hmm. Tight. Mm -hmm. Can you read it again? Just read it with you, whoever. Tight. 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 Bring tithes. all tithes. Mm -hmm. Tights. Yep. Right? All right, got it. Uh, to the treasure house, so that there may be food in the house. <laughs> Tights. <laughs> Tights and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tights stand for remnants, for more on the symbolism of food. C. C. The best place to learn about heavenly and spiritual food is in the other life. Angels and spirits sustain their life not with the kind of food the world offers, but with every word that issues from the Lord's mouth. As he himself teaches in Matthew 4, 4, the situation is that the Lord alone is the life 
of all from him comes mm -hmm. which is sustain sustain the last uh, I would say last uh -huh. yeah. support sustain um, yeah, no, it's not like support, yeah? It's like uh, last, ah, it's like want, yeah? Want. Last. L yeah, like to last, last like to, to, to be and stay this way, like to last mm. like this forever, you know? And spirits mm. last their life, not with the kind of food the word offers, but with every word that issues from the Lord's mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Last. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. From him comes each. And everything that angels and spirits think, say, or do. This is true not only of angels and good spirits, but also of evil spirits. They speak and do evil mm -hmm. because that is how they receive and pervert all the food. All the good and true things that are the Lord's, that are the Lord's. The form of the recipient determines the way a thing is received and the effect it has. The case is comparable to that of various objects struck by the sun's light that turn the light they receive into hideous unpleasant colors according to their makeup and the arrangement and structure of their parts while other objects return uh, turn the light into lovely pleasing colors so the entirety of heaven and the entire world of spirits live on everything that comes out of the lord's mouth and every individual there receives life from the same source indeed this ap ap applies not only to heaven and the world of spirits but to the entire human race what is this hideous like disgusting mm. disgust yeah mm -hmm. hideous hideous Surely you are a native speaker, yeah? Oh, of course not. No, no, no. I'm just... No? Uh -huh. I consider myself fluent, but no. I'm not a native uh -huh. at all. But your lexicon is very well, very good. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, sir. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Entire human race as well. Well, I know that people will scoff, but I can still assert from years of constant experience that it is absolutely true evil spirits in the world of spirits are also reluctant to believe that it is so for this reason they have received many personal demonstrations which were so effective that they have begrudgingly is it am i correct what, what, Be what is this Be <laughs> The first, say, say your version of pronunciation. Begrudgingly. Yeah, I think it's begrand, begrand, begrudgingly, too, begrudgingly, begrudgingly, too. Yeah? And we can check it out. But we can check. Yeah. And what does it mean? Yeah. You have no idea, yeah? I don't have yeah, I don't any know idea. <laughs> It's like a game. Yeah. Uh, the first you say your version, and we can check it out. <laughs> begrudgingly. Uh, begrudgingly, yeah, begrudgingly. Are, yeah, are, begrudgingly. begrudgingly. Yeah. It's like unwillingly, unwillingly, yeah, like this, maybe unwillingly. Yeah. Begrudgingly. Maybe in dictionary, begrudgingly. It's like Said, um, done or given. Mm -hmm. Given reluctantly, uh, there have been indications during the past few years that the psychoanalytic community is, however, begrudgingly 
take and do his ideas seriously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gradually mm -hmm. confessed. We gradually confessed the situation on situation to be so. If angels, spirits, or people on earth were to be deprived of this food, they would die instantly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who oh, can read next? Who is next? I don't know if this is some kind of a devil in me, but yeah. I just cannot read that text, bro. <laughs> I cannot read <laughs> religious books. Like, they're too hard. <laughs> no. Actually, this book is not so, is not like uh, uh, relig only religious. It's like about Matrix and it's about mind. Because right. Swedenborg didn't write about uh, physical things. Uh, he didn't, didn't write about Materialist, materi materialistical things. And mm. It's not about literal understanding of the Bible, but it's about uh, mind and thoughts like this. Yeah. It's about state of mind. Okay, I'll give it a try then. Genesis 6, uh, 22. And Noah did everything that God had commanded him. That is what he did. Noah did everything that God had commanded him, means it happened in this way. The repetition of did means that it involves both good and truth. Again, the double mention of did means that it involves both. In this connection, it needs to be realized that the word, especially in the prophets, describes a single phenomenon in two ways. In Isaiah, uh, for instance, he has passed by. Uh, he has passed by in peace. He did not tread the path with his feet. Who has managed and done it? Maybe, maybe it's tread. You said tread. Yeah, fuck's sake, this software development. <laughs> tread. Tread. Mm -hmm. Tread, like trample. Mm -hmm. Walk, tread. crash. Yeah. I'm trample. missing the age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one expression looks too good the other to truth. In other words, one looks to what exists in the will, the other to what exists in the intellect. So passing by in peace involves qualities of the will, not threading uh, the path with his feet, quali uh, qualities of the intellect. The same holds for managing and doing. This is how the word tr uh, this is how the word ties together the properties of the will and those of the intellect that is those of love and those of faith or in other words heavenly attributes and spiritual ones at each point, it achieves a kind of marriage and a reflection of the heavenly marriage. The repetition of a single word here achieves the same purpose. The, co the communities that make up heaven. There are three heavens. Good spirits inhabit the first. Good spirits inhabit the first, angelic spirit the second, and angels the third. Each heaven is deeper and purer than the one before it. The result is that heavens are perfectly di distinct from one another. The first heaven, the second heaven, and the third heaven 
are each divided into numberless communities. Each community consists of many people who, because of their com uh, compatibility and un and anonymity, anon uh, what anonymity? What is you, that? Maybe you, 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 maybe it's about union. You know, you know, you know, you know, unanimity. My, I have my, no idea. My version. Yeah. Anonymity. Unanimity. Yeah, unanimity. Of unity. Unanimity. Yeah, right. It's like oneness. Mm -hmm. It's about union. Unity. Unanimity. Okay. Unity. Mm -hmm. So unanimity among them from a single personality, so to speak, and all the communities together form a single human being. Wow, that's deep. The distinctions mm. among the communities. Uh, what is this? Compatibility. Like something is compatible. Uh, like, like two, like device with the, with the windows. Like, or I don't know. Like, like Should. something. Mm. Mm. Something suit. Something works with with something different. You know, it's compatible with uh, one which with another so it's like uh, party the root of party here yeah party come party like party part no party, party. um it's more of a no, no. like something works with with another thing mm. like it cooperate with 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 uh, with another mm -hmm. come Mm. Com combinability. Combinability. That is mm. a different word. It's not combinability. It's a comp compatibility. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can check on mm. the the Webster. So. Yeah, check it out mm -hmm. on the website. I don't know how to explain it. Like compatibility. Capable of existing together in harmony ah it's about yeah harmony. like symbiosis or yeah that mm. something works with it with an, another thing mm -hmm. yeah it's about harmony okay Compat yeah. compatibility i i know what is harmony and uh, <laughs> by this way i can memorize this word That's Compa okay. compatibility mm -hmm. the distinctions among the communities are created by differences in mutual love and in faith in the Lord. Those differences are so far beyond counting that I cannot list even the most universal kinds. Not the smallest differences oh sorry, not the smallest difference exists that is not fitted into its exact place in the overall plan. In this way, it can unite uh, with all the other pieces in perfect concord to form a common whole, and the common whole can contribute to unity among the individual pieces. Thus, everything combines for the happiness of the whole rising from the individual's happiness and for the inv individual's happiness rising from the happiness of the whole. In consequence, each angel and each community is an image of the whole of heaven and the kind of heaven in miniature. The ties that connect people in the next life are remarkable. They are like family ties on earth, in that some acknowledge uh, others as parents, as children, as siblings, as blood relatives, and as more distant connect, uh, connections. Their love for one another reflects these different levels of relationship, the varieties come in unlimited number. 
the way they are communicated and perceived is so exquisite that it cannot be described. People there pay no attention at all to who was whose parent, child, blood relative or connection on earth. They do not care what a person's outer identity was like, whether the individual had importance or wealth and so on. They look only at differences in mutual love and in faith and at what kind of capacity for welcoming love and faith a person has received from the Lord while living in the world. The Lord's mercy is love for all of heaven and all of the human race. It is this mercy and so it is the Lord alone that organizes all the elements, large and small, into, co into communities. This same, mercy gives us, uh, this same mercy gives rise to the love in marriage and consequently the love parents have for their children. These loves are fundamental and primary. From them come other loves in boundless variety, organized into communities and delight. What is this? I have no idea whatsoever. Delineated. What? Delineated, maybe. Delineated. You uh, think delineated? Uh, delineated. Uh, Delineated, yeah. I don't know. De my version is delineated. Delineated. Ah, delineated. Delineated. Mm -hmm. delineated. Oh, outlined. Delineated. Yeah. But I, I was correct. It, it's about lean. <laughs> you said yeah. about line. It's about line, but it's lean. Delineated. Delineated is like uh, described. Mm -hmm. Outline. Let's see delineate, and compare in delineate. the text. Described, outlined. And in the text, what do we have? Mm. Uh, so, organized into communities and delineated with utter clarity. Okay, so they are described, like underlined with utter clarity. Mm -hmm. What is utter clarity? Like the whole. Ah, the whole, utter. Ah, pron the whole pronounce? Uh, appearance. Nah, Clarity. Pronounce. No. Transparent. Clarity. Clearness. Mm -hmm. Clarity. Yeah, most utter. transparency was a good translation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, whole. Yeah, utter is whole here. Mm -hmm. You're correct. It's like uh, complete, yeah, absolute, absolute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolute clarity. Okay. Mm -hmm. And delineated with utter clarity. Since that is what heaven is like, no angel or spirit could ever, uh, could ever have any life without being part of someone of some community without joining in harmony with many others. Community is simply harmony among many. No one's life is ever isolated from the from the life of others. In fact, no angel, spirit or society could ever have any life, could ever be affected by a good form uh, by good form and intention be affected by truth form a thought without a think to uh, without a think link to heaven and the word of spirits throughout uh, other members of the group so it is the same for the human race whoever we are whatever we are like we need 
the same kind of link to heaven. Mm, what is what is this? Say oh, tight. How did you say? Yeah, that's a tight. Tight, tight is like white. Yeah, like the like um, uh. you have a link, and that link have to be like strong, white, like tight. Ah, uh. mm -hmm. tight, strong. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have slim and tight. Like this uh. is hard. Mm -hmm. Tight, tightly, like yeah. strong. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Closely strong, mm -hmm. strong link. It's like about maybe PC network, yeah, like this. Uh, yeah, like, but, but this is like link as a connection. So this connection is so strong that it's almost visible. Is that white, like tight uh, mm -hmm. link to have? For example, Discord, Discord uh, uh, ought to have a tight link. Uh, to internet, <laughs> uh, to... I wouldn't use it as, a, <laughs> as, as to describe connection, really. <laughs> yeah. right, I have six hundred okay. megabytes, uh, megabits per second connection, but I wouldn't call it type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Next page. To heaven through the angels with us, and to the world of spirits, and even hell through the spirits with us. Otherwise, we could never engage in life. We could never be affected by good or truth. Never form an intention or thought. Everyone living in the body asso associates with uh, some community of spirits and angels, despite being totally unaware of that fact. If we were not closely connected to heaven, and the word of spirits, then oh no, like, um, could you? I, I didn't see what. Oh, through, okay, mm -hmm. through. Uh, hello, 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 through what this. Uh, we're reading a book now. Ah, uh, cool. What book? Through, uh, through the spiritual society we associate with, we could not survive for a minute. The situation resembles that in the human body. When any part of it lacks connection with the rest uh, through nerve fibers and blood vessels, and so lacks the means for performing its, uh, for performing its function, it ceases to be part of the body. Instead, the body immediately isolates it and rejects it as being devoid of life. Rejects. Rejects. Reject. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And rejects it. When we come into the next life, we are shown the actual uh, communities we lived in and, as and associated with during bodily life. On entering that society after bodily life, uh, we come into the self-same life we lived while in the body, and on that life we build a new one. Depending on the life we carried out in the body, then we either go down to hell or are raised into heaven, raised into heaven. Since there is this kind of bond connecting all with each and each with all, it also extends to the most minute details of feeling and thought. We are all, as a whole and individuals, in such flavorless balance at the heavenly, spiritual and earthly levels that none of us can think, feel, or act unless inspired by many others. Yet each of us imagine the imagine that. What, what, what is this? It's about fl flowing, like fl to fly, or it's no, no, about no. flood. If flawless is like like a like an emerald, 
that is perfectly shaped and this is it's just so perfect okay so in perfect balance like like mm. it's so perfect that it's it's a pleasure to look at it it's flow is flawless mm. flawless mm -hmm. let's see flawless yeah it's like perfect mm -hmm. flawless 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 mm -hmm. Like blameless too, yeah, blameless. No, it's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Blameless is like, mm, it's about, okay, flawless. Could you turn back the page? Yet each of us imagines that we act by ourselves in absolute freedom. In a similar way, nothing ever exists that is not balanced by its opposite and also by intermediate steps between them. So each of us... Hello. Our... Sorry? Hello. Oh, sorry, oh, hello. Good. Uh, and also by uh, inter intermediate steps between them. So each of us, by oh. ourselves and numbers of us, taken together life in the most perfect balance. Live. It's, it's not live. Yeah. It, it's, so it's, it's us, the verb. by ourselves and numbers of us taken together, uh, life in the most perfect balance. Yes. Did you live? Side. Live. Before I just heard you said opposite. We live, but we no, not no. live. Uh, yeah. Sorry. On uh, on the word. Say, say this word opposite. again. Opposite. Yeah. It's is I it think it's... opposite? I think it's opposite. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think op opposite too. My yeah. version is opposite. I was I was teach like that in school. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. Opposite. Opposite. <laughs> Listen. Opposite. opposite. Oh yeah, opposite. Yeah. Opposite. Okay. Opposite. I need to change it then. I was using it throughout all my life. Thank you very much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Opposite. It's like contrary. Opposition, for example, we, we can remember from opposition. Yeah. Something that stands for something opposite. different. Mm -hmm. Opposite. Opposite. And, uh, yeah. th this word is... Uh, one second. Numbers taken... Mm. One second. Intermediate, similar way, what was this word? Ah, okay, mm -hmm. okay, go on. For this reason, nothing, nothing bad can happen to anyone without being immediately counterbalanced. When a, s a surplus, what is a surplus? Surplus. Ah, surplus. And the surplus. Plus. Uh, what does it mean? Oh, excess. Surplus. Right. Ex excess is like proficiency, pro mm, profit, maybe. Balance of payments. Yeah, let's see in the text because, like, Additional. we don't know yet the meaning of it. When the surplus, when it's, uh -huh. mm -hmm. we, okay, we can see you can see it one second. Was it and also intermediate steps between them exist? Mm -hmm. Not perfect balance for this reason, nothing bad can happen to anyone without being immediately con counterbalanced. Counterbalanced, counterbalanced. What is this? It's like you have a balance and uh, you have a counterbalance. Okay, so f the left uh, side balance. of the weight this... needs to have uh, the same amount on the on the other side of the weight, so they'll weigh uh, equally. That's a counterbalance. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. If I Con count, yeah. counterbalanced. Yeah, like you have a balance in your left hand. Let's say that you carry like six bottles of water, and then you like not to, you know, like 
not to fall on the left side you you take six bottles of water to the right hand and 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 the other six bottles of water is your counterbalance so you don't fall on the left side mm. it's about like about scales yeah scales it's about to weigh to weigh something yeah Count. yeah to weigh something yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when uh, yeah when the surplus, surplus. And let's go to the next page. When the surplus of evil accumulates, yeah, so that's going to be amount like uh, like uh, something that exceed the the value of evil because mm. it accumulates. Mm-hmm. The evil, the evil, or uh, the person committing it is punished by the law of. Equilib- equilibrium. 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 It's about brain. It's about brain. Oh, no, no. It's about bones. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Equilibrium. <laughs> balance. Two. State of equilibrium. And- okay, so that's a perfect balance, something like that. The law of equilibrium. So that might be like the highest balance or something like that. Okay, so let me. Could you turn back the page? Mm, one second. Mm-hmm. Equilibrium. 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 No. Equilibrium. Previous page, yeah? Yeah, when a surplus. Okay. When a surplus of evil accumulates, the evil or the person committing it. Is punished by the law of equilibrium spontaneously, it seems. But this never occurs except in order that good may come out from it. Of it. Yeah. This pattern and so this balance constitutes the design of heaven, which the Lord alone shapes, arranges, and preserves to eternity. Another fact to be aware of is that no community can ever be completely and absolutely the same as another. And within a community, no individual can ever be exactly like another. To everything there is a concordant and harmonious variety. The Lord brings this variety into order in such a way that everything bends toward a common goal. This he accomplishes. Uh, this he accomplishes by means of our love for Him and faith in Him. The result in uh, the result is unity. Mm-hmm. What is concordant? Oh. Concordant. It's like correspond, maybe. Yeah, yeah like that. That's a. I don't know. The definition is only comes up from the text, like the the mm-hmm. meaning of it. It's like agreed, mm-hmm. concordant. Mm-hmm. I I think like correspond to. Mm-hmm. It's about harmony. To uh, to yeah, everything, yeah. there is a concordant, like mm-hmm. maybe. In agreement, yeah, like yeah, in agreement, people yeah, right. in, ag- in agreement mm-hmm. and harmonious variety. Mm-hmm. The result is unity. Oh, sorry. Go on. Mm-hmm. <coughs> the result. Oh, yeah. Is unity. Mm-hmm. The result is unity. Accordingly. Heaven and its joy are never completely and exactly the same for one person as for another. Just as love and faith come in great variety, so do the heaven and heavenly joy that love and faith contain. 
so much in general for the communities or heaven on the basis of my repeated experience over a long period of of time more detail is to come with the lord's divine mercy mm -hmm. hey next genesis 7 mm -hmm. oh hell. that's a good chapter <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, you know, I understand. Uh, he he writes about, in my understanding, uh, hell and heaven are like the state of mind. It's like matrix and uh, like a computer program because it's like about simu sim sim simulation, like this. I understand it in this way because it's about our thoughts and minds, and hell is like um, it's about thoughts and mind and intellect, like this. Mm -hmm. For sure, he's uh, he's discussing this philosophy in sophisticated way, and like he splits everything on parts and getting into these smaller and smaller details and connecting them with each other. Like he tries to find the logic into like into in in the religion itself. So yeah. Really yeah, it's 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 about it's about logical and rational understanding of everything, and about logical and rational understanding such books as such holy books as uh, Bible, Quran, Quran, and other mm -hmm. holy books. I mean, we can interpret by using this method. It's like figurative language, like by using figures of speech, like because it's about mind. <laughs> Swedenborg is a genius and he mm -hmm. he has third highest IQ in history. His IQ is 206 that because it's about there are a lot of levels. It's like a video game. His books are yeah. like a video game and there are a lot of levels of understanding. <laughs> yeah, like there are different <laughs> levels of hell, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because if you play your first level, you cannot understand the second level of your video game because the first you 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 should finish your first mm -hmm. level <laughs> it's, yeah. it's about knowledge and, and, and it's like a game actually mm -hmm. i think <laughs> where god is a programmer maybe a progr programmist and uh, that because for for example elon musk believes that one billion percent that we we all live within um, a big personal computer uh, within a video game and <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. Matrix, yeah, and I think uh, Elon Musk uh, uh, read books of Swedenborg too, because actually it's about it <laughs> in the sense. Might be. What do you think about this? Sorry, what? I I mean, uh, what do you think about uh, big computer simulation? I think it's it's real <laughs> because actually it explains everything we are, where we are. Are you, are you trust? Are you trust him? Yeah, I think Elon Musk is 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 correct. Is right where, that because she believes in simulation and uh, in matrix like this. I I am agree with him. Because... Well, actually, we are all connecting. We are all connected to like to the computer. Like the government stores your personal data, so that'll be name, surname, father's father's name, mother's name, mother's first surname, and so they can easily like locate you. That's kind of a like first step. <laughs> like, and then comes the like personalization of a of a of a subject. I would call it like you <laughs> and like what do you click what sites do you visit what advertisements work for you which are not like yeah who you're talking to who do you meet who is in your friend list and so on and so on so yeah slowly like your personal data is being connected to the system like whenever you want it or not so yeah that's yeah, kind of a step. We yeah, we people are information beings because yes. uh, we, we cannot think about any kind of information we receive yeah, because uh, our thoughts are from information we are taught. 
about. Yeah, we live in the informative <laughs> society. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Do, do, can you continue? Mm -hmm. All right. About hell. Mm -hmm. Hell. People have only the most general concept of hell, just as they do of heaven, and that concept is almost so vague uh, as to be not vague. Vague. Ah, uh, yeah, vague. Uh, almost I so vague that. as to be known at all. Vague. It's like foggy, and uh, unclear, vague. It is like the picture of the world at large, mm -hmm. at large, uh, available to those who have never been outside their cabin in a for uh, in a forest. They know nothing about its empires. Vague and countries, let alone its forms of government and, What's up, and least of all about society and the way people live in society. Until they know these things, their concept of a world cannot be more than the sketchiest notion which is practically, uh, which is practically no notion Whatever. Likewise, with regard to heaven and hell. In reality, both heaven and hell contains too many marvels to count, indefinitely more than any planet count. Oh, sorry, could hold. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can't see the, because of this, like. Mm -hmm. Discord small circle <laughs> on the right mm. uh, uh, corner. So the vast number of wonders there can be seen from this one thought. Just as no two people ever have the same heaven, nor to ever have the same hell. And all the souls that have never exist that have ever existed in the world since the beginning of creation flock together there. Love for the Lord and for one's neighbor constitutes heaven, as do as do the joy and happiness it brings. By the same token pitiful opposition to the Lord and one's fellow human const constitutes hell, as do the penalties and tortures it brings. Hatred comes in countless different types and even more variations, variations on those types. For every variety of hatred there is a hell by the Lord's arrangement and through m mutual... Mm -hmm. What is this? Spitiful. Spitiful, yeah? Uh, spiteful. Uh, and sp spiteful. Spite. Spite. What is this? Whoa. Uh, spiteful? Like, this is like <laughs> being annoying. Evil. Malicious, yeah, evil, spiteful, spite. It's but but it's about spite, yeah, spite. Spiteful. We can say spite is any, spite. anything evil, yeah. Spiteful, no, spiteful, like the core, spiteful, spiteful. no. Mm. What's okay. spiteful though? Why spiteful? Could you bring yeah, back? Why is that? Uh huh. What what is that? Okay, so you have uh, different uh, definitions of that word. Like oh, what is witty? Yeah. What what is what? Witty over there. Witty. It's uh, it's uh, spitey, spiteful. Yeah. Oh, it's spiteful. 
Yeah, by the same token, spiteful opposition to the Lord. So, uh, spiteful opposition to the Lord, it means like uh, this opposition is like regardless of, you know, like the the Lord goodness, it's it's just uh, like shit. <laughs> Um, okay. like, when you when you when you do something wrong on purpose, you know, like you're just mean. Like by the same token, like mean opposition to the Lord. Yeah, like something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, next page. Yeah. Next yeah. Page. By the Lord's arrangement, uh, I didn't. By the Lord's arrangement and through, yeah. Mutual love, heaven forms a single human being with a single animating soul, so it looks toward a single goal the preservation and salvation of all to eternity. In contrast, hell, out of its sense for out of autonomy and through self love and material materialism through hatred, in other words, uh, forms a single devil with a single animus, so it looks toward a single goal, the destruction and damnation of all to eternity. Thousands and thousands... What is this? Animus. So you have like... Uh, Like, can you imagine, like, animated stuff? Like, let's say, animated... Uh, like... Oh, yeah, animation? Yeah, there Is was... Their body the like an animation? Before. Is everything an animation? Real life? Are we animated? Mm-hmm. It's like... Animus. So, we're uh, animations. Uh, anima it's hostility, yeah. And we real. It's an for me. It's a noun, isn't it? Hostility is a noun too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, like a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Single animus. Forms a single mm -hmm. devil with a single animus. Yeah. So, like, uh -huh. as was said earlier, like. Uh, yeah, that uh, you have it on the top. Heaven forms a single human being with a single animating soul, right? So that's in heaven. But in hell, you have forms a single devil with a single animus. Okay, so that's like mm. Mm. animated devil. In the what are we talking about? We're devil. reading a book. Just Discord. Oh, man. a Bible. Not a Real. Bible. No. That's a different book. But what is this uh, actually? Oh, Muslim? Muslim. I don't know. Ah, Muslim, what is this? But... It's, this book is about, uh, I think it's about how can we make, uh, uh, how can we build an ideal just society in the world like this. <laughs> I understood uh, it like. Because I can't it's about the title, title of the book. A title? It's uh, Secrets of Heaven uh, by oh, Manuel Swedenborg. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. This, cool. is, this book. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I too use Reader, it's very cool. It's, it's, it's cool software, I, I think. I, I really want to buy Pro version. Cool. Let's go. It's a free, you, you, if you will type. Uh, I, I know. Uh, Secrets of uh, Heaven, Swedenborg Foundation. Very, very you don't love Pro version. It's it's pro version. It's pro version. He's asking for ah. the software, not the book you're using. Oh. Ah, software. It's Ridera. Uh, Ridera. It's Ridera. It, no, it's, it's not premium. <laughs> I wanna I wanna buy premium version. Just because it's it's the free it's the free version. It's not premium, but it's I, like... I I see I see I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next page, thousands and 
thousands of thousands and thousands of times have I experienced the whole effort of hell as turning in this direction. If the Lord then did not preserve us all, every single solitary moment we would be snuffed out. However, the Lord forms and organizes hell in such a way that the bonds and restraints of people's own desires and fantasies hold them fast. Their whole life consists in those desires and fantasies and, and because their life is a living death, it turns into tortures so dreadful that they cannot be described. The most intense pleasure of their life is to punish, torment, and inflict pain on each other. They use methods utterly known in the world. By these methods, they know how to trigger acute sensations exactly as the exactly as the, their victims were still in the body. They also know acute what is this? Acute trigger. Uh, acute like, let me read. By this by these methods they know how to trigger acute yeah, acute sensations. So like like sharp sensations. Like how mm. to you know like Intent to intensify them, like so they oh. become even, even like, like, uh, like sharper. Mm. Cool. Least, uh, mm -hmm. The bigger pain they do, basically. Mm -hmm. Sharp, yeah. Mm -hmm. Serious. Mm -hmm. Cute. They also know. They also know how to produce ap appalling. Uh, what what is appalling? appalling. Maybe appalling. appalling. I think it's appalling. I don't appalling. know. Appalling. 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 Yeah. She says app appalling. But transcription is like appalling. Maybe we can see in dictionary. How to produce app American appalling. I thought it's like a pollen. Is it ah a pollen and the pollen? So it means inspiring a horror. A pollen. Listen, a pollen. A pollen. It's American pronunciation. Oh, a pollen. A pollen. A pollen. A po like m m m any intermediate between o and a uh, a pollen. A pollen. A pollen. Yeah, I'm correct. A All right. Pollen is a uh, inspiring horror, dismay or disgust, living under pollen conditions. Abominable, pollen full, disgusting, distasteful, dreadful, evil, full, full, okay, gross, hideous, all right, horrible, horrid, yeah. Mm -hmm. We draw by an appealing accident, okay? How to produce appealing, terrifying hallucinations, not to mention many other kinds of frights and terrors. The Devil's Crew takes such passionate delight in doing this that if they could increase and intensify the pain and anguish infinitely, they still would not rest satisfied. They would burn to add another infinity of grief. But the Lord negates their efforts and softens their abuse. Seriously? <laughs> like how so? <laughs> negates. So it means like, like to negate something. You say something and I negate that. Okay? I make it not what you what you said i'm changing it like you have mm. you can have uh, a, a picture in negative colors so it uh. reverts the colors 
Mm-hmm. Like contrary, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's like yeah, a it's contrast true. to something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Negates. Negates. Yeah, invert. Mm-hmm. Contradict. Negates. Mm-hmm. Crew. There was crew. Crew. Like, like my crew. Me and my crew. Me and my colleagues. Me and my team. That's my crew. Meet my crew. Uh-huh. This, this is Come the on, people I work me. with. And, and this is the people the the <laughs> the uh the crew that devil works with. Mm-hmm. Crew. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everything in the other life, overall, and in particular, exists in such perfect balance that evil punishes itself. What are you reading, guys? We're reading a book. That About is what? streamed. It's oh, the question and you'll oh. get to know. Okay, okay. So... This is this book, you can see. It's yeah. Emanuel Swedenborg, uh, Secrets of Heaven. Seems to be a long book, isn't it? It is indeed. Uh, oh. Three thousand nine hundred fifty-one pages. And but this actually, is it's just pages, a volume but... one. No. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but are you Russian? Russian? Do you mean? Sorry, it's about I, I... nationality. Sorry, what? Yes, uh, are, we, are you from this country? Because I, I think I, I do hear a uh, Western like accent and I. I just ask about it. I'm just curious. Uh, I, I, I'm, I know Russian language, but I don't say about my nationality and location because oh, I don't okay, like okay, okay. it myself. Not bad, not bad. Okay, okay. I, I, have done, <laughs> I was just curious about it. But does it. Uh, oh, you know what? Okay, it's okay. So, in what does the book t- speak about? What does it talk about? We're we're reading about hell. About hell? Yes. Is it uh, books for people who do believe in God, or the? Or... You don't have to believe in God in order to read religious books. No, no, no but, uh... I don't consider this book is religious, really. It explains no, 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 that's what I'm trying to mean. I was just, I was just asking myself if this book was meant for this kind of people. Well, if you didn't read the book and nor even listen to anything that we're reading, then you're not get, getting to know. So listen along, and yeah, maybe you'll maybe. read some text. All right? <laughs> maybe, maybe. You're more than okay. welcome. I'm okay with it. So in How this way, they yeah. can. De- is this a hell bible? No, it's we were actually reading about heaven before, but now it's it's time for a chapter describing hell. So to understand what the author is actually uh, like writing about, you know, he tries oh. to explain some stuff. Ah. So yeah. Nice. In this way, Evil contains its own penalty. So does falsity, which rebounds on the person who subscribes to it. We each bring on ourselves our own punishment and torture, and at the same time we bring on the de- oh sorry. We each bring on ourselves our own punishment and torture, and at the same time we bring on the diabolical crowd that inflicts it. Maybe it's diabolical, yeah? Diabolical. How to pronounce You might be right. Diabolical. Yes, diabolical. Diabolical. Mm-hmm. Like devil, dev, devilish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Diabolical. Yeah, it comes from my language. Yeah, this mistake. Mm-hmm. They didn't inflict it. Or yes. They. Good luck. Good luck. I I I I am go around. All right. Take care, buddy. The Lord never sends anyone to hell, but wants to lead everyone out. Still less does he inflict pain. Still less does he inflict pain. Mm-hmm. What? What it could mean? 
Like still less, does he inflict pain? Still, uh, does like the... inflict like like influence? Yeah, inflict pain. Uh, like no. to deal, I think he deal pain. Inflict. Yeah, cause pain. Like to deal pain. Mm. Yeah, but I wonder myself what the author like is talking about because I he's talking about Lord. The Lord never sends anyone to hell but wants to lead everyone out. Still less does he inflict pain. Mm -hmm. One second. Uh, but Lord shouldn't uh, make pain. He, he, yeah, he 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 doesn't do harm. He he. he mm, so it he, means he that do he doesn't do harm at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it makes sense. Instead, because you know, yeah. we, we we should understand this term like Lord is like about a, f a figure of speech, like a term to talk about big things, like what is right, what is correct, what is good. It's like a um, term. I mean, people use this term to talk about uh, to explain what is what is perfect, like this, what is uh, mm -hmm. right, what is good, like this. It's figurative language. Mm -hmm. I understand it in this way, mm -hmm. because he says when we say God, it's it means mm, it's not about harm and pain. Yeah, we can say mm -hmm. still less does he inflict pain, and we 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 can understand this term better. What what it means, mm -hmm. like God and Lord. All right. Instead, since evil spirits actually run to get there. The Lord turns all the punishment and torment to good and puts it to some use. No penalty can ever exist unless, unless the Lord has some purpose in mind for it. Now that makes sense. Because the Lord's kingdom is a realm of purpose and usefulness. But the, pur but the purposes that hell uh, that hellish spirits can serve are ignominious what does it mean <laughs> ignominious you can, you, you can you can give your uh, ver, ver, version yeah this... ignominious is mine uh -huh, ignominious it's a uh... Shameful. Ignominious. Ignominious. All right. Shameful, unworthy. Shameful, glorious. inglorious, humiliating, inglorious, yeah. unworthy. Okay. It's about shame. Ignominious. Ignominious. Are ignominious. When performing those services, they are not in as much pain, but when they cease to be useful, they are returned to hell. We each have at least two evil spirits and two angels present with us. Through the evil spirits we have contact with hell, and through the angels we have contact with heaven. If we were not in touch with both, we could not possibly survive for a minute. So every one of us, although completely unaware of the fact, associates with some group of hellish spirits, but their torment uh, is not transmitted to us because we are undergoing preparation for eternal life. In the other world, uh, we are sometimes shown the community we had been part of since we go back to it and therefore to the life we had lived on Earth. From there, we, we either head toward Hell or go up to Heaven. People who do not lead good, charitable lives or allow the Lord to guide them are part of the hellish crowd. After death, they become devils themselves. 
In addition to hell itself, there is also a process of devastation described at length in the world. Okay, sorry. So, described at length in the world. Word. Word. Yeah, the holy word, I guess. We take... It's like, yeah. yeah. It's like, the word is like uh, God's words like this. Yeah, the holy word. Um, we take with us into the next life in innumerable evils and falsities acquired from the sins we have actually committed. These we heap up and twine together, even those of us who have lived honorably, honorably, blah, 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 blah. These we heap up and twin together, even and twin together, even twine, those of us who have twine. lived honorably. Twine or twin? You said the first you said twine, but <laughs> now you say you, you say twin, twin or uh, twine? Twine, <laughs> Lord. Twine. Twine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> twine. Uh, twine is like uh, is like uh, what twine is like a uh, rope. Yeah, it's rope. Twist. It's about rope. Hmm. Twine. Like to be to be um, to be roped together, like bind together. Yeah, bind. Like. With one rope, like one yeah, chain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With one chain. Twine together. Yeah, because like you collect the, all the bad things, like these scenes, like you, you just collect them and yeah, like the rope is good here because like you, you tie them up together. Yeah, and even mm-hmm. those who have lived honorable life, like they still collect this since they do along the way. So, before the honest can be lifted into heaven, their evils and falsities have to be dispelled, and this process is called devastation. There are many kinds of devastation and it can last for a longer or shorter time. Some people are taken to heaven after a very brief per- uh, period, and some go immediate, immediately after death. I have been sent down to hell several times in order to see the torture that those in hell go through and the devastation of those in the underground realm. Being sent to hell is not a matter of moving from one place to another, but of gaining entrance to uh, to one of hell's communities. Communities while staying in the same place. Let me report on just one experience. I had a clear sensation of a kind of pillar drawing around me and growing perceptibly what what does it mean perceptibly larger maybe it's about perception yeah that he thinks Percept- that it is this way yeah. noticeably mm-hmm. perceptibly okay. perceptibly not noticeably mm-hmm. all right so the pillar was growing perceptibly larger the idea came to me that this was the bronze wall mentioned in the word formed out of angelic spirits to keep me safe in my mission to the unfortunates below. While there, I heard plentitive wails like those, Oh God, oh God, have mercy on us, have... Mercy on us. These laments continued for a long time. I was allowed to talk with those unhappy people as much as I wanted. 
Their main complaint concerned the evil spirits whose sole and burning desire was to cause them pain. They had lost hope, saying that they believed the agony would go on to eternity, but I was able to comfort them. Because there are so many hells, as I said, describing them in an organized way means doing, uh, means doing so in this order. 1. The hells of those who spend their lives in hatred, revenge and cruelty. 2. The hells of those who spend their lives in adultery and literary. In addition, the hells of deceivers and witches. 3. Miser's hells. The full Jerusalem there and outlaws in the wilderness. In, in addition, the feces la laden hells of those who have pursued sensual pleasure alone. 4. Next, other hells than these. 5. Last, those who are undergoing spiritual devastation. These may be found at the beginnings and ends of the, ensu of the ensuing chapters. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. As well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who wants to read next? It's <clears throat> Genesis 7. Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> this region is over, <clears throat> and uh, I have to go yeah. and see you tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, see later. you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. No class ends. Why? Come tomorrow at the same hour. Okay. Yep. You're more than welcome. Class is ended. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, if you can. <laughs>